trying to think of like fun ways to incorporate reading and math and science and social studies together and a teacher in the school before had done project-based learning and we thought it looked cool so we were trying to think of ideas and our first reading unit was on communities and school so we talked to the kids and tried to find ways that we could incorporate things that we do in school and our community and so when we found when we figured that there was no library and walking distance of our community we talked about well there's a library in Foos you can get books every time but what about kids who don't come to Foos what about you know adults who don't go to school and so we kind of you know we kind of talked about it and got the idea to do this first um, and see how it goes for the future for other projects when we started this and registered it it's on like a worldwide database now so people who maybe are in town looking for free libraries like I know I thought of the idea because my little brother does that like when we're on vacation he likes them so he goes around and he'll be like where's the free library we can find around here and so we can look it up and find it so people who are nearby staying maybe in Hershey or something could come get it if it's our students using it we were lucky enough to get a lot of um teachers and other people in the community donate books so we have like a whole stash to refill it ourselves if it gets to the point where there's nothing coming back but like people in the community sometimes they'll like it's like take a book share a book so if you have one if you read one and you're done with it you could put it back in a different one and take a new one it was really it was really cool to see because we haven't really done big projects like this in the past and it was just cool to see, it's always interesting to see like that they could do a lot more than you would think like a six-year-old could um like take charge of and could accomplish and they really just take it and they just ran with it and came up with their own ideas. So when we were researching this project with the students, um, we really the students kind of came up with the problem that they have a library here at school but there's no library within walking distance of the community that they can use. So um, we came up with this solution and I know um, not only our first graders but the grade levels across the school are really excited to be able to come and use the free library. Um, we have a ton of books to keep adding to it so we think it will really impact positively the whole community which is really exciting. I think this is huge. Um, Having books it, with easy access right here where they can just walk up to Foos where people come every day. This we're, we're the central part of this neighborhood right here. We're on the central part of this community. We have so many people in and out of our building every day and now there's another thing they can do. They can come here, grab a book, take it home and read it with their children. Um, the kids can show their parents that they're excited about their learning to read here at school. And to see all of that come together is great. And I think it's going to um, be a nice boost to literacy here in the district because the children are going to have books in their hands and be able to read them. Donations came from our own classrooms. We had some donations from other teachers. And we also had a very large shipment of scholastic books come in in the beginning of the school year um, that we had left over. So we were able to use those as well. People think teaching happens just in the classroom, but you know, as teachers we know that learning happens anywhere the student is, anywhere they are in the world. So it definitely was a very eye-opening experience. Um, and <laughs> it was, I know I keep saying it was rewarding, but truly that's probably the one word I would use to describe this whole project. Um, you know, just seeing not only the excitement with, within the kids, but the parents as well, 
seeing them, you know, happy coming to school, watching their child cut the ribbon, watching their child just be so excited about this. Um, it definitely, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. I'm happy we're able to bring this to the community. I'm happy the kids took part in it. And I think it's going to be a wonderful addition to our school and to our community for our kids and their families <laughs> and anyone else who wants a book. Welcome to the Booth School Little Free Library.